video will illustrate the use of network forensics to capture and analyze snitch packets in order to meet a requirement for a network security class. We captured an email attachment using Wireshark and will show you how to use network forensics to get the content of that file. These are the packets captured by Wireshark. Now we are looking for our Word document that's used for the purpose of this experiment. To filter out the packets, since there are so many of them, we are going to click on Analyze then go down and click on Expert Info Composite. Then we're going to click on Chats. And then we're going to scroll down to find the one that has a Git Attachment in it. Since we found it, we click on it to expand it to know the packet number. And there it is, 187. So we close it. Go back to the main window of Wireshark. Right click on it then click on follow TCP stream now as you can see here there are a bunch of weird symbols but we're looking for word document in those symbols and there it is so we know that this is the file we want so now we're going to choose the third option in our list which is which has the arrow pointing to our IP address from Hotmail's IP address. So we are going to save this file as a raw document. Then we're going to open it in a hex editor. there this is the f this is the file we just saved and we need to get the magic header number of it of it so we can open it in word so to get the magic number we do a quick search on google to know the magic number of the word document And we, search, we, and we filter out the search for docx since this is the type of document we have and there it is this is the magic header number and in the raw file it has it starts at pk so there is pk and then anything d before it we, we're going to delete it because this number should be at the beginning so now you see that PK is uh, is where the magic header number is the one we just found and again to confirm this is the number So we're going to save this file as a uh, docx file so we can open it in Word document. So this is the file we just saved and we open it to know what the Word document has in it. And there, this is what we have written in it. So there is no way to prevent packet sniffing. So IP security policies must be used or any other network security options like secure socket slayer or anything else. Thank you for watching.